Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today autopilot. Uh, we have several autopilot modes in the warning and we're gonna go through them. So Sherman, uh, kick off wherever you want. On the UFC there is an autopilot button. Press this, it will bring up the autopilot menu for available modes. There are four of these modes. Attitude hold, which will maintain the existing pitch and roll attitude plus minus 45 degrees in pitch and plus minus 70 degrees in roll. As far as I'm aware, you can make light adjustments to the roll and keep up this attitude hold. Heading select is related to the um, wait, what? to the HSI page, and you can set up a, a heading on the HSI. The plane will attempt to steer itself onto that heading. We'll go into more depth about using that once I've finished explaining the other modes. Barometric altitude hold. This will hold the aircraft at the current barometric altitude between angels 0 and 70 because the plane basically can't fly any higher than Angel 70. Radar altitude hold, same deal using the radar altimeter up to 5,000 feet. It's also worth noting that um, when you use barometric or radar altimeter hold, you can carefully or slowly adjust the roll to put yourself into an orbit so that if you so say you reach where you want to be you just put your aircraft into a roll and you will conduct an orbit over the area at a constant altitude right so let's do a uh, uh the attitude hold so do i just click on it and that's it yes you'll okay. see the uh two little dots that appear next to a selected mode when you do that mm -hmm. and and yeah your plane should hold its current attitude right and attitude means like pitch doesn't it so i'm at six degrees and it's holding that six degrees for me yeah Right, uh, next I'm going to do, uh, going to turn, how do I turn that off? Just click on it again? The autopilot disengage button is the same button you use to temporarily disengage Roger. your uh, G limiter. I'm going to press that now. Yep, it worked. Right, next we'll do barometric altitude hold, so let's try that. Right, so that's putting me down and it works beautifully. It's going to level me out and um, keep me uh, at this level barometric. I can't try radar because you have to be below uh, 5,000 feet for that to work, but essentially that would be exactly the same. The difference is barometric. If we flew uh, low with barometric over some mountains, uh, barometric mode will fly you right into the mountain. Um, mm -hmm. because Whereas radar altitude would attempt to compensate for the terrain rising below you. Not rising in front of you, that's an important caveat. Mm -hmm. So if you're flying towards a building, the plane won't magically pull up 90 degrees in front of the building. Mm -hmm. So you can say with gentle, with gentle terrain undulation, ra radar out should basically fly you above the terrain um, within, within reason. Yes, if you're flying over flat country and you want to fly low, just like above treetop or building level, then this would be a good mode to use, but don't use it in mountainous terrain. Roger. Okay, Sherman, would you like to go over the heading select? Alright, so heading select mode, again, requires us to use the HSI page, which is typically on the bottom AMPCD represented by the moving map. Do you see it? A firm. To the top left is a uh, lever or a switch which you can press and hold either left or right to shift their currently selected heading either left or right. However, it's, once you let go of it, you'll notice in the UFC that an option appears for you to actually input a desired heading. So if you press and hold it left, you should see a set of two squares moving around the outside of the compass rows that's displayed in the HSI. Hey, Phil. When you let, you should also see, if you look up at your UFC, you could see something that says H cell. Not sure. That will be the heading select. So let's say you want to turn it around completely. It's currently set to north and you now want to go to 180. Mm -hmm. Rather than press and hold the thing to drag it all the way around, let go and type in 180 and then click on H cell and enter. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me try it again. Rather than cycling it all the way around to 180, when you see H cell on the uh, UFC, you just type in 
180 and enter and in theory then the headings yes the heading selector will be set to that new heading without you having to cycle it all the way around manually and waste your time and i look and i see that yep my little square boxes have moved to the south 180 and then i want to how do i actually set the autopilot on return back to the autopilot page by pressing the autopilot button on the ufc then what I would suggest is you make sure you disengage the uh, autopilot mode that's currently selected either by clicking on the button of the selected autopilot or by using the autopilot disengage button. Once you're sure that you've done that and you're stable, then press the heading select button. Done, and we off it goes. Yes, now bear in mind this is not targeting a waypoint like on uh, some other NATO jets. This is just targeting a heading. It's very useful if you just want to get yourself lined up on a heading preemptively and you've got quite some distance to go because then you can fiddle around with other stuff without having to worry. Also note that it doesn't entirely disable your control. It gives you a slight ability to roll. Okay, it's coming up to 180. And yep, it's leveling out. Well, isn't that a thing, Sherman? It's a very useful thing if you use it properly. Okay. Right, so we've done our altitude hold, our heading select, our barometric and radar out, altitude hold, anything else uh, regarding the autopilot? No, the only thing you might want to do is uh, turn up the brightness on your, UFC, in, on your UFC just in case you can't see the text there. Yep, that's fine, cool. Alright, so that's autopilot, I hope you enjoyed that and we will see you later.